I don't know, I'm bored. I figured I'd just film it because uh, I know that some people like to see these videos. So uh, I, got, I got three, four, 20, 21 packs. And a doubles ma double masters pack um, I got at, a, at, at my job. So now we're gonna we're gonna open these up. I'm gonna open up these first, and then we'll do a, open up a double masters pack. And do this one at a time. And do this all with one arm because I got nothing to put my phone on to. Packages are defective. I can see why. Uh, I can see why we got them. So, um, Rugged Highlands, hi, hi, uh, wait, rugged, yeah, rugged Highland, Highlands, Highlands, <laughs> rugged, rugged Highlands, <laughs> alright, that's just a, another one of those, Necromentia, choose a card name other than a basic land card name, search target opponent's graveyard, hand and library for any number of cards, with that name and exile them, that player shuffles at a library and creates a two, two, two black zombie creature token for each card exiled from their hand this way. Nice. Alpine Hand Master. Alpine Hound. Oh, hang. <laughs> Hound Master. Hey, it's just a battlefield. Search your library. For a card named Alpine Watchdog. Ignis Kerr. Reveal and put in your hand. Shuffle library. Tax gets plus X plus zero. I'm not, not going to go too far into these. Spent a lot of time on the um, on the Double Masters. Oh. This is, this is going into my Esper. My, my oppression deck. I already got like three of those. I got like four of those. Interesting. I right, got one of those. Yep, I got one of those. D duress. Uh, two of them. I gave all those to my brother. Those actually make for a decent token. Yeah. Hmm. So you know, just some uh, one card, one good card. I'm gonna put all the good cards I'm gonna use. I got a, I got a, a Jund Landfall deck that creates massive armies with like you know, swarm and. Um, Stuff and then I also gain health off of every creature that enters into a battlefield. And a lot of my landfall stuff is all meant for um, what's it called? Yeah, just just creating a large army. And if it's not creating a large army, it's benefiting from the spawning of said large army. So on to the next one. Cold, so 
my finger has shrunken and my ring is loose. I just figured uh, showing that to be important information as to how I got this open. Oh, wow. More land. But at least it's not an island. I have plenty of islands. Hmm. Let's see here. Smacking the crap out of everything. Draw your second card each turn. Create a green 2-2 two -two cat creature token. Oh. Another thing that my, um, my Jun deck has. A whole bunch of card draw. A little bit more consistent than my Esper. No pressure, so. Alright, flying non-creature. Cost one more to cast. Oh, wait, oh, non, oh, non-creature spells cost one more. Oh, this goes into my oppression deck, because that's... Ooh. If I can stop people from doing things, it's for my oppression. Hmm. My brother might need this for his Naya. Hmm. Under attacks, other creatures you control get plus one until end of turn. I mean, it'd be great if it were like permanent plus one power, but it's not. Alright, got that. Hmm. And. Enter the battlefield, scry one. Hmm. Yeah, just. I think I got one of those. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. That creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Wait. Interesting. Draw a card. Discard a card. Yeah, I got some of those. I don't really... Zombie sacrifice steward. Target opponent. Discard a card. Activate this ability. There's a sorcery. Hmm. Ah, oh, yes. Next time I can go to my brother. Mm. So I can use this as a, as a token. Yeah, you got like three of those. Maybe it's a dog. It's a big old dog. Rambunctious mutt enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact or enchantment and opponent controls. <laughs> oh yeah. Another one of those. Burn bright. Come on. Crap, crap, crap. Nope. Oh yes, and uh and an actual freaking token. Given the fact that I'm rushing through this one a little bit, I don't take much time on the card. It's already taking like nine minutes. I think we'll just do that. Yeah, this will this will all be a separate video. Just now that's getting kind of noisy. Ah, uh, yes, this. Bland person. I 
I suddenly have the urge to build a cement pick. Mainly because I got because the most lands I have in my leftover bit is um. I suddenly don't care. I'm more interested in the shiny, shiny card. Beginning of your end step, if you control a creature with four power or greater, exile top card library. Play that card until you exile another card with Furious Rise. Oh. Man, it's so shiny I can barely even see the artwork on it. Sanctum of all. Hmm. Oh, hey, this is the second shrine I've gotten. Hmm. Who knows, I might build a uh, more inclusive chromatic. I don't know what it's called, but a dead level 5. Beginning of your upkeep, search your library and graveyard or, and or graveyard. Because I can do both or one or the other. First shrine card put on the battlefield. This ability. If you control another shrine, you control triggers or you control six other shrines. See, just battlefield control of creature power for rear draw a card. I'll think about it with my junk. A creature can I sacrifice someone else's? <laughs> Cat right there. And there's battlefield one one counter target creature you control. You control with a one one counter. There's trample. I feel like a little further to see if my junk has more counters. Hmm. Seems a little crappy. Oh, yes. Perhaps a token. That's not much of a token, like a token substitute.